Hello. Who are you? Doesn't matter. Welcome. You're safe with me. I'll be right here. Nice and close so I can speak without alerting the others. Let me tell you about Senua. Her story has already come to an end, but now it begins anew. What's happening? It's breathing. Dead. It's breathing. It's breathing. He knows. He knows she's getting closer. He can feel her coming closer. They're watching. She's getting closer. They're watching. They're watching. They're watching. They're watching. This is a journey deep into darkness. There'll be no more stories after this one. What is she doing? Why is she doing this? They're watching. Why isn't she she coming? She's doing this for him. She wants to rescue him. He's already doing it. Feel you coming. coming. Quiet. Oh, how rude of me. I never told you of the others. You hear them too, right? They've been around ever since the tragedy. Well, that's not quite true. Some are old, some are new, but they've changed. I think the darkness changed them just like it changed her. Can you see them over there? Why isn't she looking? <laughs> Why aren't you looking? It's an ally. Look, up ahead. You see it too? You promised you can you Yes. It is real after all. She's finally arrived in the land of mist and fog. The place the Northmen call hell. she thinking? I can tell you. She is afraid. Wouldn't you be? You'd think she would get used to it by now after so many years. But the darkness, it just builds onto itself, growing stronger, towering over her. You might try and ignore it, Turn away. But it's always there, just out of sight. Where you're most vulnerable. It's like it knows that just enough light is all you need to see its suffocating power. You might think she's brave to go on this journey on her own, but it isn't bravery that drives her. 
bravery only means something to those afraid of death. Said it was fear runs far, far deeper. What are you looking at? What is she leaving behind? I know what she's thinking. I hear her thoughts. It's not too late to get into the boat and go back. No one will judge her. No one will ever know. There's no going back. You can't do it. Senua pushes away a world that conspired to cause so much suffering. There's nothing to go back to, and worse to look forward to. Why don't you join us? Maybe you too have a part to play in this story. Look really clearly. Focus, Senua. Do not Focus. forget my Focus. story, Senua. Because your happens? darkness comes from hell, and your fate lies there. They say the burning of a corpse will take you straight to Hella's gate. The gods are living. knives across which lies the halls of hell, the place they call Hellheim. There's no doubt about it. The source of the darkness is in Helheim. And the goddess Hela holds his soul there. Come. Her dear beloved. Dillian. But she does remember that only the dead may cross it. That part wasn't so easy to forget. The old fool said there was a hidden path up to it. Let's see, shall we? The Northmen speak of nine worlds. The world of men they call Midgard. The sky gods dwell in Asgard, 
The gods of earth harvest wind and sea, dwell in Vanaheim. The good elves dwell in Alfheim. The evil ones dwell in Svartalfheim. The mountain giants dwell in Jotunheim. The fire giants dwell in Muspelsheim. Niflheim is the world of ice and darkness. Only the dead dwell in Helheim. And that is where you must travel. No, this is it. The hidden path. Stories again, old friend. I'm listening. The runes seal the gates to hell. Focus your inner eye, and you too will see what's hidden in plain sight. I can see one. Hold it in your mind's eye. Find one like it to open the gate. Why can't you focus? Take a closer look. It's near. Look towards the gate, and the gate will open. The gate is open. Go through the gate. Go through it. It's dangerous. It worked. What's mine? I will take you. It's not safe. I spent six years enslaved in hell, but I watched the Northmen, learnt their ways. I know you did. You listen, when everyone else laughed. My people paid a heavy price. Carry my stories with you, and together we will make the Northmen feel our fury. Another voice joins us. She once tried to make them go away. They weren't real. But what good is that? When we are always here. I guess it's the same with heights. You can stand on the edge. Pretend it's going to be okay. But you know that death is near. Waiting for you to make that little slip. You can't just wish things away. The world of the dead is ruled by the giantess, Hela, daughter of Loki. The gods feared her bloodline, bad on her mother's side and yet much worse on her father's. So, as a child, the Allfather cast her down into Helheim and gave her power over those who die of sickness, age, hardship and self-slaughter. In all of the nine worlds, only Hela can resurrect the dead. To Hela, your Dillion was sacrificed, and with her you must bargain. The gate. Stay back. Look at it. You have to open it. The gate to Helheim divides the living from the dead. Is that the face of Hela herself? 
the half-rotten goddess that walks over Helheim. Whatever horrors lie behind that door, she must find him. vision of what's to come. Poor Senua. The darkness does not bargain. It does not reason. It is rot. And now it has taken hold. It will spread towards her head, the seed of the soul, until there is nothing left of her. All of her suffering will have been for nothing. It's just a matter of time.
the hardest battles are fought in the mind. That is what Dillian taught her. With every defeat, the dark rot will grow and soon it will take her soul. But for now, at least, she still has control of her mind. And she will fulfill her vow. Whatever the cost. He's not my Listen to me, Senua. The goddess Hela lies behind the gate to Helheim. To open the gate, you must first face the gods that guard it. The god of fire, Surt, and the god of illusion, Van Raven, spill their blood to open the gate to Helheim and enter the land of the dead. It won't open. Valraven, ancestor of the seers and master of ravens. He hunts his prey with his powers of illusion and feasts on their remains. Follow the path to Valraven and defeat him in battle to earn his mark. The gate to Helheim cannot be opened without it. Ymir was a frost giant, a being of darkness, and all his sons and grandsons were dark after him. Of his daughters and granddaughters, some were monstrous, but others fair. hides the path to Valraven. Don't trust your eyes. Find another way to see the truth. What's that? It's a door. Push it. Push it. Push it. She did, she did it. again and pretend what we saw was never really there. Don't let them get behind you. <laughs> 
Raven's power of illusion comes from ravens. Align the ravens to break his magic seal. Show me what you have seen, Truth. Look how much it's changed. to make it back are forever changed. She can get up now. She can get up now. What's happening? She can get up now. She can, she can get up. It must be magic. Dog. Magic. A trick. Well, Raven. Tricking her. Well, Raven. How can she get up? Bait. It's him. Dark magic draws her closer. Northmen say that Odin has two ravens. Their names are Thought and Memory, and each day he sends them out to fly all across the world. Upon their return, they perch on his shoulders and tell him everything they have seen and heard. In this way, he learns of things far and wide, and for this reason, 
He is called the Raven God. Cinema, like Odin, humans seek wisdom through thought and memory. The Northmen say that Odin and his brothers killed Ymir, and that the world of man was formed from his corpse. They made his bones into stone, and his flesh into earth, and his blood into the salt sea. They set his skull to be the bowl of the sky, with his brains for clouds. Odin and his brothers caught the sparks flying from Muspel. Do you know what it's like to leave everything behind? Your home, loved ones, to head deep into the wilds, perhaps never to return. Senua does. Because when darkness speaks, it changes everything. Turning home into a foreign land and loved ones into strangers. Exile makes sense when you realize that you were never really home in the first place. The Northmen say you must sacrifice in order to receive. They tell how the runes were revealed to Odin only in sacrifice. He hung himself from the world tree and he stabbed himself. Oh, Ravel. Oh, Ravel. 
She wanted to fight her own darkness. <laughs> she thought she could beat her own darkness. Did she beat her darkness? No. <laughs> it nearly killed her, but she tried. Druth. Druth helped her. If it wasn't for Druth, she'd, she'd be, be dead. dead. She can't beat her own darkness. She wanted to marry Dillian. She came to beat her own darkness and marry Dillian. But she didn't thought, work. She thought her curse would affect him. She thought her curse would spread to him. She thought she'd bring the darkness to him too. She nearly died. Quiet. She thought the curse made her tainted. Out in the wild. Truth helped her. In the cold winter woods. Where have they gone? She no longer felt fit for this world. She almost gave in to the darkness. She remembered Dillian's words. She remembered her promise. She resolved to fight on and kill that which had become part of her. The Northmen say that Odin is always in search of knowledge and wisdom and magic. There was a very wise being named Mimir, who guarded the waters of wisdom which flow from the roots of the world tree. Odin wished to drink from this spring. There's no such thing as victory when it comes to the darkness. It's like it doesn't want to kill her. Yet, oh Lord, her biding its time. Only when she is at her weakest will it strike to kill. Will she find Dillian before her time comes? Valraven. 
one's final illusion to face him in his keep. I know you can do it, Sinoa. You have the sight. We both see the darkness. We can fight it together. Speak to me, Drew. Tell me a story. Senua, listen. I will tell you the tale of a man called Findon. The Northmen captured Findon's sister, and his father sent him to pay for her release. But they took his gold, put him in chains, and held him for a day and a night without food or water. Then they released him. I don't know why. Upon his return, his father's enemies in Erin set fire to his home. His father burnt to death, and his brother was killed. But he escaped with sorrow in his heart. His father's enemies offered redress for his loss and invited him to a feast that was at a hall near the sea. But when he went there, they betrayed him to the Northmen, who enslaved him and took him to hell. Six years later, his slave masters landed on the shores of Orkney, burning all before them. And into that fire, Findon made his escape. What was Findon? Burnt away that day. But from the flames, a new man stepped forward. And Druth was born. Druth. The man that I am now. And though Findon never set eyes on his dear sister again, I, Druth, have found you, Senua. I wish you could have seen my home before these dark times. well in the wilds. It never does. You think you can overcome the darkness, make sense of it, and once relief settles in, it strikes out of nowhere, throwing you helplessly back into the maelstrom, drowning the mind in fear, deeper, deeper, dragging you down so far into the void that maybe this time. There is no coming back. Help me. But there, Help. in the darkness, Senua. And she remembered what he told her. Hear me. Help. Reach out to me. Help Senua. Me. Take my iron mirror. Look into it. For it is a window into the underworld. Within, you will see the face of the darkness that you fear. And if you focus. Like I have taught you to, you will also see that as much as the darkness has you trapped within its veil, it too is trapped within yours. Focus! 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 I see you! I see you now! You led me to the wilds! You trapped me there!
Valraven. One of the keys to the gate to Helheim. Hold it in your mind's eye. With every battle, the darkness grows stronger. Every victory bringing her closer to defeat. Unfair, isn't it? In those dark winter nights in the wilds, there were times when she considered letting go. If it weren't for truth, a chance encounter in the wilds, she would not have heard his stories of the Northmen. And she would not have this chance to find Dillian's soul. I'm coming. I still hear.